put the other guy that's with you and this is called Sophia. They have another one, like a darker one that I think it's called True Love. No, something with love, I think. And uh, I decided to pick up the lighter version of that one because they were comparing or I just found out on YouTube that people are comparing this to the Coco Mona Micelle, the one that I have right here. And everybody knows these are pricey. So everybody was saying that this one's a dip to that one. So I was just so curious to see if that was true. So I decided to pick it up. But it was so funny because everybody that I saw reviewing it, they had like the 3.4 ounce, like the huge bottle. So I was expecting to get the big bottle when I um when I got this. But mine ended up being the little tiny bottle. It's like smaller than my hand. So this is a one fluid ounce. And I thought it was going to be the 3.4 fluid ounce because it was the same price as the big one. So I'm confused, but I guess they only have this little tiny size at um, Walgreens because that's where I bought this. Um, but it was a little pricey, I think, for this tiny bottle. But at the same time, if you bought a high-end 1.0 fluid ounce, it would be like 80 bucks, 60 something dollars, 80 something dollars. Because all the ones with the fluid ounce, one fluid ounces that I got for like over $60 so because it's like a drugstore you know like a celebrity fragrance okay so yesterday last night because I got it last night I sprayed it let me spray it again I love the mist um I I don't think it smells exactly the same, but on the first spray, you can't really tell because it kind of has a similarity, but once it's drying down, I can kind of see it. But this one's a little more sweeter, but at the same time, I feel like it's more spicy. No. Honestly, this kind of reminds me of my YSL uh, Mont Paris. Mont Paris. I don't know, it kind of gives me the same vibe in a way. But I can kind of see this. It doesn't smell exactly the same. I still prefer, obviously, this one over this. But it's not that bad, to be honest. I can see it a little bit, but... But it's not a dupe, to be honest. But it smells so, so good. I am so shocked. Because I was hearing that it was a really good quality perfume for the price. And they were not wrong. It smells really, really, really sophisticated. Um, mature. But not too, too mature of a scent. But I love it. I, I honestly do love it. And I wish it was a bigger bottle. But at the same time, I'm kind of glad it's a little bottle since I have a few perfumes that I need to go through. Because I heard that, you know, they expired after a certain time. So, I feel like this will be cute for my purse. So, I haven't honestly worn it all day because, like I said, I got it last night. But I heard that it lasts all day. So, I still need to test it out and see what it does. But I feel like it will because it's kind of strong. But soft at the same time. It's softer than the Coco Mono Micelle and softer than my YSL. But I could kind of see this more than the Coco um, the Chanel one because I can't say it. So I can kind of see it being more of a dupe of this one. So I don't know. But I do love it. And if you like those kind of perfumes, like I know you would love this one. And it just smells so pretty. And yeah. So I just wanted to do a little quick review of the Sofia Vergara Sofia perfume and it's like the lighter bottle and it looks like this, looks like this. I love how the bottle looks. The only thing this is kind of, oh, no, no, I didn't have it. I just when you put it, okay, now it's opening easy, but I was struggling to open it before. But yeah, it looks like this and I have the little tiny bottle. Everybody that I've seen on YouTube, they have the huge bottle, but it's cute. But anyways, guys, that was my little opinion in this review of this perfume. So 
if you don't have money to spend on a, you know, expensive perfume, because trust me, I don't have time for that either. I don't have the money. I recommend buying this one from, um, I guess you can find it at TJ Maxx, Marshall sometimes, or um, what is the other store? Um, what is it called? The Co no. I forgot, but like all those little stores, like Ross and, um, oh my gosh, now I'm trying to think of what it's called. Burlington. So I heard like Burlington, they have the big size with the, um, with the lotion. So yeah, try to check all those places and see if you can find it. Hopefully there's a sample that you can smell maybe, but nowadays you can't really smell things. But at Ulta you can, so I love Ulta for that. But yeah, so I do recommend it. I do like it for um, what it is, like a, uh, a, what is it called? A uh, celebrity fragrance. It smells pretty good. And I do love the one from uh, the one that I used in high school. That was my signature scent, which was the uh, Paris Hilton. The one that was like the purple with the line. And I'm still popular. And that one was my fragrance in high school. And I wore it for years and years. And that was my signature signature scent. So I kind of want to pick that one up again because it brings so many memories. So I only have liked that one in this so far as celebrity uh, fragrances. I want to try the J Lo one, one that is kind of hard to find. But you can find it online and I heard that one smells so good for the summer and I heard that the ones from um Rihanna that she I think it was Rihanna so I got a few years ago or was it Beyonce no I think it was Rihanna it's like in a, a bottle with like it has one it's like reddish and the other one's black and I kind of want to try those because I heard that it smell good so I want to give more of like the celebrity a chance because I never like the Britney Spears ones and the other you know like I don't know but this one, I do recommend, like I said, for the million time. But anyways, guys, I'll let you go. It was just a quick review. But anyways, guys, have a good day and stay safe. And if you're in Cali, it's kind of cold. And I love this weather. But at the same time, it's like freezing for me because I'm really not used to the cold. But anyways, guys, um, take care. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I post a video. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.